All right, welcome back. Telsey Smith with Hel Helen Ross McNabb Center is here with a list of Christmas crafts you can do uh, with the kids, mess free apparently. Yes, um, so Christmas break is just in a couple of days, so we're gonna need some activities with our little ones. Um, this is mess free, stress free ornament making. Um, I know glitter scares a lot of parents, I was but say, you just said mess free, right? And then <laughs> glitter, uh, kind of an oxymoron. But when it's contained in these little Ziploc bags, it makes it a little bit better. Um, so first, you're going to cut a circle or whatever shape you want. I used a little coaster to trace um, my little holiday ornament and then we're going to use tape. Kids love tape and then this is double sided tape. Oh cool. So um, and then just let them do a little design and then let's let's go with silver and then you just pop. Oh, you drop it down in yeah, there. Yeah and then I they like shake it. it and so I sang jingle bells oh, with my little brilliant. friends while we shook. This is the fun part for the kids the shaking too. That and then really smart. you take it out and then there's like uh -huh. literally no mess. And then oh, that's, that's fantastic. hole punch, tie, and then voila. And they make really cute little gift tags too. So the little kiddos that's can so practice cute. riding on the back and attach that's them to good. gifts. Great idea. Okay. So next we have reindeer food. <laughs> and this is another fun one because preschoolers especially love to just like get their hands dirty in the kitchen. And so um, we're using oats, Quaker oats, um, just dry oats, and honestly, some like leftover sprinkles from last year's Christmas cookies. Okay. So I just found these in the pantry mm. and you know, you just scoop and sprinkle. And this is also a fun thing to share with other families, maybe in your neighborhood or at preschool. Mm -hmm. Just be sure and include a label that it is reindeer food. Or yeah, you might not little, people food. <laughs> yeah, I mean, preschoolers would love to eat this, but they probably shouldn't. Um, so you sprinkle it on the lawn at night and the moon will make it sparkle bright as Santa's reindeer fly in Rome this will guide them to your home. So yes. it's a good way to get Rudolph there fast. Okay. And, That's and good. Santa ultimately. And so then you're just going to put it in little Ziploc bags yeah, or we little don't want baker's bags. Rudolph. No, we, we want him leading yeah. the way. Yeah. And so then um, just tie it up and there it is. And they can stir and mix and measure and you can make a little math lesson out of it if you'd like. Okay. And we've right, only got about 30 yeah. seconds left, okay. so what we'll move So to this is the gingerbread man. Very classic story, just simple. I love pairing an activity with a little piece of literature. Mm -hmm. So um, story and then Play-Doh. So instead of using actual gingerbread dough at my house, we use Play-Doh for these little cookie cutters, and that'll keep them busy longer. I mean, you can use gingerbread dough, but you're not going to want to probably eat it after your child plays with it for an hour. Right. So this is really good mm. sensory, really good fine motor to strengthen those muscles. We've got googly eyes, and you can decorate. Um, your gingerbread men do the same thing with Christmas trees or snowmen. Um, and awesome. then last we have candy cane hunt, which is much like an Easter egg hunt. Hide the candy canes around yeah. your house. Oh, I like Make that. a math Good lesson stuff. out of that too. Yeah, right. awesome. So, hey, have a great Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas to you guys. Thanks yeah. for having right. me. We appreciate it. You always have great ideas. A lot of crafts that you can enjoy when the kids are home for holiday break. Thank Absolutely. You so much. Thanks, Beth. Mm -hmm.